Thank you, Mr. President. First, I want to thank Senator Kerry, Senator Luger, and Senator McCain for their great leadership and their dogged persistence in making sure that we could get this treaty through the committee and to the floor. Uh, it has uh, been inspirational to watch them work together in a bipartisan fashion to bring us to this point. I just hope we don't lose that in terms of the vote. We just came from, I just came over from over in the Dirksen building where we had a wonderful ceremony honoring former Senator Bob Dole. Mr. President, uh, some time ago, I went back and I read Senator Dole's maiden speech on the Senate floor, April 14th, 1969. I commend it to everyone, and Mr. President, I would ask at the conclusion of my remarks that his speech be printed yet again in the record. Without objection. In which he spoke of the future uh, of people with disabilities in America and what we needed to do to change our society. That was 1969. It was 21 years later when we passed the Americans with Disabilities Act. And, yet, and, and, we've, and the country has changed so much for the better because of that. And now, what we are, we're, we're sitting here now with a convention by the UN that basically says to the rest of the world, you know what? You got to do what America did. Because the UN, in establishing this convention, was informed by the Americans with Disabilities Act. And a lot of it is based upon what we did here. As the committee showed, not one of our laws or anything has to be changed. Not one, because we are the best in the world at this. Yet this, what this convention gives us, it gives us a seat at the table. When other countries have signed on to the treaty, it gives us a seat at the table to be able to work with other countries and to help them upgrade their laws so that people with disabilities have more opportunities in other countries. Why would we deny ourselves a seat at the table when we have been the leader in this effort for so long? I listened to the speeches by both Senator uh, Enhoff from Oklahoma and Senator Lee from Utah, and I, 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 these are unfounded fears, unfounded fears. There's nothing in here, I repeat, that is going to allow anyone from the United Nations to take a child away from a family or tell a family they can't homeschool a kid or anything like that. There, there's nothing in there. These are just totally unfounded fears. We should not be driven by unfounded fears. We should be driven by what we know of our experience and what we have done and what the wording of the convention is and the fact that none of our laws have to be changed because of that. The other point I want to make is the senator from Utah made the point that we all know people with disabilities. We have family members or friends, and we value them. We truly do value people with disabilities in our society. Well, if we truly value them, why don't we listen to them? Over 300 disability rights groups support this. Not one, not one said they won't support it. So if we value them, why don't we listen to them? Or do we just want to keep patronizing people with disabilities? Say, oh yeah, you're all right, we'll do things, but we won't listen to you because we know what's best for you. Mr. President, we don't know what is best for people with disabilities. You know who knows what's best for people with disabilities? People with disabilities. And they have all said this is important. 300 disability organizations asking us to support this ratification. So I think we should listen to them and listen and, and, and get their advice. Think about what the disability community here in America could do with that seat at the table and how we could work with other countries to help them upgrade their laws. This is a, I, I just, I, I don't understand. I, I have a hard time understanding why people would be driven by unfounded fears to vote against this when all of the evidence of 22 years now of the Americans with Disabilities Act, all of the evidence of the hearings held by Senator Kerry and Senator Luger, bringing all the information out pointing out that not one of our laws have to be changed at all. In face of all that evidence, someone will vote on the basis of an unfounded fear. 
Well, Mr. President, I remember when we passed the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990. It took a long time. And there were a lot of fears out there. There were. There were fears, oh my gosh, we're going to have to do this and that. And you mean uh, buses have to have lifts on them and we got to get rid of those curb cuts? And uh, you mean kids with disabilities get to go to school? Unfounded fears. We became a stronger and better society because of it. And Mr. President, this treaty, this treaty will make us a better world in which to live for all people, not just people with disabilities. I urge all of my contacts, don't give in to your unfounded fears. Take the good advice of a Senator Bob Dole and President Bush and a former Congressman Steve Bartlett and a John McCain and a John Kerry and a Dick Luger, people who have been in the trenches on this and take the advice of the disability community here and abroad, if you'll do that. We'll win a resounding victory today. Thank you, Mr. President.